And the last speaker is Christine Dawson. Good morning, Chairman Lee and County Commissioners. My name is Christine Dawson, and I would like to offer some of my thoughts regarding case OB80, formerly Z98, a proposed rezoning at the northwest corner of Dallas Highway in Garrison Commons. I own my home at 136 Infantry Way in Garrison Ridge. Before purchasing my home, just over three years ago, I conducted careful research on my house, the neighborhood, and the area. Among the items I reviewed were the USGS topographic maps to determine my house's elevation above Mud Creek and the locations of the nearest fire hydrant and fire station. I visited the neighborhood at different times of the day and on different days of the week to determine how busy or quiet the streets were. I noticed that the Collins property, the subject of OB80, at the entrance to my potential new neighborhood was for sale and I investigated its zoning. I was satisfied that no development would impinge on my quality of life or enjoyment of my new home when I found it was zoned R20 for residential development. Furthermore, the county's comprehensive land use plan called for it to remain suburban residential in character. I did my research and I purchased my home with the knowledge that my investment would be safe from undesirable development nearby. I was the historic preservation officer in a county planning department for nine years. And one of our goals was to provide applicants with predictability in the decisions that were made regarding permits, land development plans, and the like. Zoning codes provide a significant measure of predictability to property owners regarding the types of development and uses that are permitted on their and others' properties. After all, a lot of money, people's livelihoods, is tied up in real estate. The predictability of decisions made by governing bodies regarding real estate is vitally important to the stability of those investments. As I said, I did my research and I relied upon the assigned zoning of my own and the Collins properties in my decision making process. Therefore, a change in the zoning to this property is not only inappropriate for reasons to which others have and will testify, but it removes the elements of predictability and reliability in Cobb County land use decisions. If I cannot rely upon Cobb County to uphold its own land use policies and plans, I and many others will not be inclined to purchase property or otherwise invest in Cobb County. While some tout Mr. Collins' so-called right to sell his property for the highest possible price, which per the United States Supreme Court is not a right, what about my rights as a property owner? Cobb County presumably has formulated land use policies and plans, including zoning codes, in order to provide a framework for orderly, predictable development. If the property owners of Cobb County cannot rely upon the county's plans and policies, why does the planning division exist? Why would anyone purchase property here if there's no predictability? Most people's homes are their largest single investment and the rezoning of the Collins property will jeopardize the value of hundreds of homeowners investments. I respectfully request that you deny the proposed rezoning as it represents an inexplicable choice insofar as predictability and reliability are concerned. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you, ma'am.